Sonoma's um, about eight kilometres southwest of Collinsville. We're halfway between Townsville and Mackay and, and inland about 80 k's. Family run operation with my wife and three children. Got uh, Tom's 15, Holly's 12 and Huey's 6. Four years ago through succession planning uh, my wife and I got out of the family uh, business and we took over the operation, the management and the ownership at Sonoma. I've been involved with NQ Dry Tropics uh, since the Resilience and Grazing Project started about two and a half years ago. A friend of mine, another grazier, that um, heard about it and, and was involved in it and encouraged me to come on board. So I'd done a bit of research and talked to a few people and, and um, yeah, then we got involved with the project. Put a bit of a plan in place to run 750 heifers through this area. I think the results we're seeing here um, has got a lot to do with the management after the, we done the treatment with the with the high density. Um, we didn't take it really low here. We left a, we left a bit of stubble and we left a fair bit of ground cover in, in this particular area. And like there hasn't been cattle in this paddock since those heifers came out of this out of this here in um, in the end of June last year. So this has had a full wet season spell, um, all the back end of the dry season, without any regraze. So I think you know that's a that's a symptom of that management. The potential's here. If we could get a couple of good seasons in a row, I think we can um, build a fair bit of resilience into this into this um, into this pasture. So um, yeah, we've grown a lot of pasture here, and there's a lot of diversity. I reckon we've picked up close to 20 different species of. Um, legumes, forbs and grasses, um, there's a bit of red flinders there, a little bit of that starting to come back, um, a couple of little native um, legumes, some introduced legumes there, a bit of secker, um, a couple of shots, a little bit of pigweed and stuff there, cattle seem to enjoy that this time of the year, um, some annuals, got, um, a little bit of button grass, a couple more native um, legumes. Um, some fairly healthy Indian cooch plant there, you can see a fair bit of leaf on that. Um, we've just picked that up over there with a bit of water shedded off the road and, and pooled. A um, bit of nut grass, um, some native um, salt cooch, a little healthy looking fella, buffer grass, um, Eurocloa, plenty of that there, it's a pretty good indicator species. Um, we did have a spear grass plant here somewhere. That's a bit of blue grass. So yeah, it's just an indication of, of what's there. It's a bit of golden beard there. Um, yeah, there's plenty of different species of grass there. So it's an indication of, yeah, what can happen. You know, we're in a pretty light sort of a year, but um, with the right management, you can still get your, your diversity and of your species. So, but I really can't stress enough on, on giving these plants every opportunity uh, to regrow after that heavy grazing. That, I think that is the key, is to, is to getting feed like this, um, is, that, is that rest and that recovery, and not just a short rest, but like I said, this is had eight or nine months with no cattle in it. The less mobs you have, the more paddocks you have. So the more, the more area you've got to lock up. And um, you know, I've estimated at times, we've had up to 90% of our property with no cattle on it. It's just monitor, plan, monitor, plan, all the way through. There's no, there's no hard and fast rules, it's just a plan and then within a week you're replanning and then you're replanning. Um, once we put the holistic management plan together, we realised the infrastructure wasn't going to support the mobbing of the cattle in certain areas. So we actively went about trying to find uh, a funding and support from people like the NQ Dry Tropics who steered us in the right direction and said there was uh, reef water quality grants available um, if we met the criteria. So we got a field officer to come out. We sat down, we spoke about what we wanted to do, um, what would fit the bill and what, what was uh, outside the realms of it. And we came up with a plan. Um, we've done some fencing, some land type fencing, some exclusion fencing, and also uh, some water infrastructure. As you can see behind here, we've got some troughs. Well, basically the, the fencing has given us the ability to control where the cattle are and how long they're there for. And I believe that's the fundamental key 
to the pasture management is you've got to be able to control the, the number of animals, where they are and how long they're there for to be able to manage your pastures. And the pasture composition and the ground cover is the key to the water leaving the paddocks and going into the catchment, into the gullies and then finding its way down into the, onto the reef. The big picture for me is I'd really like to leave a legacy for the next generation and, and to really be able to push the envelope, think outside the box, try new things and hopefully get some success in certain areas that other people can use and you know that to me is, you know, we're, we're not here for very long individually but the land will be here forever so we need to try and pass it on and pass on what we've learnt in our experience to the next next generation. I think the biggest revelation for me um, with the holistic management was the mobbing the cattle together, putting the cattle in one mob. Um, I think that's had the biggest benefit for us um, with reduced labour. Um, we, we don't use dogs anymore because we're constantly moving our cattle and they become very easy to manage, easy to handle and the grass you can grow with the one mob um, and the less, I suppose, the less um, the less management you have to do with regard to the number of paddocks checking uh, different mobs of cattle all the time. I think that's that's been the best thing for us uh, management wise and the biggest return I suppose because we haven't had to invest a lot of money in that sort of that sort of um, that sort of management. So that's probably the key thing that that I've taken away from it.